lot of some expert sleepers. Hello. But you seem to be very tall today. I, I, I am. Or is it just me, stupid? Always have been. Um, we're at uh, Synthfest 2017, uh, yeah, my good. first year. I've enjoyed it so far. Good. And uh, you've got some stuff, right? I have stuff. I have new product. I have the General CV, uh, which I've shown at a couple of shows in prototype and early form. This is now final hardware launching today, officially on sale. Uh, my good friends Rubber Dub right next to me have them, if anybody would like one. Um, the General CV is a very powerful general MIDI synthesizer under CV control. So in terms of living in a modular, uh, you've got a bunch of CV inputs and then by the magic of software, MIDI is made and that makes the synthesizer engine do stuff uh, in a number of interesting ways. Very technical. Yes. Um, so if I just started making some sound, I forget what it's doing. So this particular mode is the arpeggiator mode. I've got a, a clock from the modular. I've got a, uh, a pitch input which is coming from elsewhere, which is same, changing stuff. And it's making this pretty arpeggiator sound. If I change that mode here, you can see, it shows you what notes it thinks it's playing. Uh, if it can focus on it. Too many leads in the way, not to worry. Yeah, and well, then you can, I'm there in. you go, you're in. in. Yeah, and then you can, I can't see the, uh, myself anymore. And then you can change it in different ways. So I obviously change the sound. And change the arpeggiation modes, change the key, change the chord shape. Seems to go very quiet. So you, I mean, I've seen some demos of this already. I mean, yeah. why, why did you go for general MIDI? Is it because all the stuff is available on, on a chip or? It's because the stuff is available on a chip and it was one of those things where once you've had the idea, it's like, well, I have to do that now because it's such a crazy idea. Um, but I think it's actually got a lot of potential for bringing sounds into Eurorack that are not otherwise easy to bring in. Um, for example, big chords. If I just uh, load up a different preset here. Uh, That's a very tiny but very pleasant. Uh, is that AMOLED? The what? what? The screen? The screen. Yeah, it's a little OLED. Um, so that sound you're hearing there, that's... Um, how many notes is it? It's a three note chord played on three different sounds, transposed by octaves, different sounds with the reverb and chorus you get from general MIDI. And you can very easily make these lovely kind of chord sounds that uh, you might not otherwise easily get in a Eurorack setup. I, so um, these knobs all provide kind of uh, additional control to the various parameters. Yeah. Right? So basically, every algorithm's got a bunch of parameters. So it's like from like three up to like fifty. You've got these five knobs. So you've always got live control over five different things. Seven CV inputs. So you've got CV control over seven things and a couple clock inputs as well if you need them. And then you kind of punch through the different pages of parameters um, to change stuff. Like so, let's transpose that up a bit so we can. Hear it a bit better. Um, this particular mode's got a ton of parameters because you've got up to five layers of sounds. You can control the sound and the pitch and the pan and the um, attack and release and what stuff. Should, what should be you using inside as the sound source? It's uh, by a company called Dream. It's a little off the peg general mini chip. They, they, I think they intend it to go in like answer phones or something <laughs> because it, it will play MIDI, but it, it's. If you actually study the general MIDI spec, it's not just like play piano and bass and um, a drum track. There's this whole extra level of tweaking the sounds um, that I didn't know was there until recently. And you can make these really quite interesting sounds, especially once you dirty it up a little bit. There's a, a lot of synthesis power in a very small space. And my job as the module designer is to bring that under CV control so that in a modular context you can access that power in useful ways. So I've shown you arpeggios and chords. Uh, another useful thing you can do is, um, is play MIDI files. It's got a micro SD slot here. Again, struggling to focus. There we go, there it is. Little micro SD card. So if I um, load that, and then I need to give it a gate from somewhere to, there we go. Let's just get rid of the, so there you go, that's a drum loop from the MIDI. Um, I 
got it's clocked to the modular here. And then you can, you know, sequence up different I guess you could process that, that all after with more modular stuff. If you're yeah, right. exactly. So here, I mean, I'll, I'll take a CV from my FH1, which is connected to this keyboard. Uh, and then if I just remind myself where I need to plug that in, then, I mean, this is the keyboard. You can imagine this was a modular sequencer like a, a Rene or Metropolis or whatever. And then just by pressing, I've, I've basically got the scaling map so that semitones map to the different MIDI files in the queue. So you can sequence the MIDI files that you're going to have playing just by, you know, just by sequencing up your song. And similarly in the chords, the chord and arpeggiator modes, the different chord shapes and inversions are on that semitone scale. So you can very easily have a, a modular sequencer sequencing up the different chord progressions and shapes on those uh, more melodic modes. Um, and then the other mode that I've I think I've shown before other shows, it's like a VCO mode where you can basically treat the module as a VCO and give it a CV um, and it will commit continuously emit a sound like a modular VCO would, um, but the sound source is a potentially very complex general MIDI layer of right, stuff. Um, but in the modular context, it behaves like a VCO. Um, so this is what's there now, uh, in much the same way as I keep updating the disting, I fully intend to keep throwing new firmware at this one, as it occurs to me different ways you can put, you can make MIDI from CVs. Um, and, and, yeah, you say it's available now. It uh, is. What, what's the price of it? £269 pounds, uh, today, or €299 Euro, or I think it's £349, depending on how we decided the exchange rate was going. But well, that's, yeah, that's out as of today. This is the official launch. Well, congratulations. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Oz. Nice speaking to you.